Okay, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to my first Blender tutorial. Uh, I'm sorry if I break any rules or conventions, but um, I just wanted to show how I came up with a flat eye effect. Uh, I searched on a couple of tutorials and got kind of confused and lost, so uh, I stumbled upon my own way of doing things, which I think uh, I got pretty lucky. So. The end result is that uh, you'll have some eyeballs that will track to an empty, wherever this empty may be. Um, and so, you know, you can make the character cross his eyes or look, you know, up or down. or Basically, wherever the, uh, the empty is, that's where this character, uh, the eyeballs, are going to be looking. Uh, it's pretty simple to do, um, and I will show you how I do it um, starting now. So let's just go ahead and um, let's select everything and um, delete it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go into my front view by hitting 1 on your numpad. Um, hit Shift A to add a UV sphere. You can change the segments, rings if you want to. I'll set my shading to smooth. Um, come over here to my materials tab uh, and I've already made a generic blender it's just the blender white material and I'll assign it to the eyeball I'll tab in to the eyeball hit A to deselect everything hit C to get my circle select tool um, select everything here um, and then we're going to add a new material add it and we're gonna make it black and we're going to sign it, and so now we have uh, a, a pupil and an iris. Uh, of course, you can use UV mapping and UV texture to do whatever you want to um, later on, uh, but this is just to you know keep it simple. Okay, so the very first thing that we want to do is, uh, well, it's not the very first, but the next thing we want to do is hit Shift A, and we're going to create an empty. Uh, and it's going to be inside the eyeball, and we're going to um, call it L. I tracker uh, and the L is just to denote that it's for the left eye because you know your character might want to have more than one eye um, unless he's a pirate because pirates are awesome all right so the very next thing that we want to do is go into side view um, and I'll just shift D to duplicate that empty and move it out here and then we're, this empty that we just made out here we're gonna rename it I focus because that's what the the eye tracker is going to um, follow um, so the next thing we do is choose our empty inside the eye, the eye tracker, and then we're going to go over here to our constraints tab, and we'll add a constraint, and we're just going to make it track to the eye focus empty that we just made. So essentially when we move this, you'll see now that the, the empty inside the eyeball is, uh, is moving. All right, next thing I like to do is go ahead, uh, choose my eye and hit alt r to clear the rotation just in case you've got some rotation on it and then you see that i did so i'm gonna go into side view tab into uh, edit mode hit a to select everything and then rotate it and i'm doing this because uh, again i'm not the greatest at blender so somebody i'm sure can find a better way of doing it but um, i found that it's important to keep your object location uh, object rotation clear but you can tab into edit mode and rotate it and it still keeps the the it keeps it free of rotation in the object mode um, because it'll do all sorts of screwy things if you don't so uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll hit shift A to add my lattice and I'll scale it up a little bit just a little bit bigger than the eye um, and I like an odd number of um, vertices on my lattice simply because it puts one in the middle and it, you can distort the eye all you want so I'm just going to make it flat, but you can, of course, distort it any way that you want. I'm going to choose the eye. I'm going to uh, hit Shift Select uh, to get the lattice. Hit Control P to make a lattice deform. And then on the lattice, I'll select just the lattice, and I'll scale everything in, and then you have your flat eye. All right, so now you've got to make the eye follow the focus. But what, the way that you do that is you're actually going to tell the eye to take the rotation of the eye tracker that we made here and use that as its rotation. All right, so just click on the eye, come up here, add a constraint. Um, I'm sorry, I'm in the modifier tab. Add a constraint, and you're going to copy rotation. And then for the target, remember that tracker we made? That's where this comes into play. We'll choose L eye tracker. Okay, so now if I choose L eye tracker and I grab my focus, weird thing happens. The entire eye rotates to face it, and that's not what we want. 
So to fix that, it's pretty easy. Just click on the eye, and over here where it says space, you're gonna choose the second one, and you're gonna choose local space. And then, voila, your eye tracks your empty wherever it goes. To make a right eye, I select everything, the lattice, the eye, and make sure to select the empty, uh, the eye tracker empty, hit Shift D, move it over. It looks kinda like the Cookie Monster's eyes. Um, but of course you can go in there and distort those lattices all you want to and you know if you want your character to have funny shaped eyes you can just tab into your lattice and um, select whichever points you want and you know drag them up and, and, and do whatever so it's really really easy to do make, make some cool characters um, and that's it I mean that's that's how you do it and of course uh, just to be you know best practice you want to come in here and take your um, your empty that you made since it has a copy and just name it r dot i tracker and you want to you know rename your eye and everything um so that you can down the line when you're animating and doing keyframing it's all good but um there you go that's how i make two eyes follow and empty hope you enjoyed thanks <laughs>